It's your girl Queen Trucking and I'm back with another video. I'm back with another video. My nigga. <laughs> As y'all can see, your girl, <laughs> y'all see it, y'all see it, your girl is in a truck. I got picked up by my trainer yesterday. Y'all already know what it is. When I get out here into training, I'm not going to be able to vlog. I would like to vlog because, number one, it's icy conditions on the road. So, I'm going to be vlogging what I can, getting as much footage as I possibly can. So, the next couple of weeks, uh, these vlogs are going to be really like y'all just seeing my progress in training. Don't come at me, y'all. I'm sorry, but your girl got to get herself to cop. Girl got to get herself to Together, so I hope you guys understand. But the people who've been rocking with me since prime, y'all know what I do when I go into my training. No more, no less. Thank y'all for rocking with the kid. You know what I'm saying? You know, your girl back in the truck. Can't okay, nobody hold me down. Bad gang in the comments. Can I get a bad gang in the comments? You know what I'm saying? Period. It's bad gang. Let me get myself in the driver's seat and then I'm going to come back to y'all. Then next time y'all see me, we will probably be in Kansas getting ready to pick up a load. Okay? So your girl's excited. Let me get myself together. Shout out to Angel Lachey and he be trucking. Thank you guys so much for coming in on my channel. If you guys want to shout out in my next video, like this current video and come hashtag Royal Trucking Fam. Yesterday. Trainer, she is really, really cool. I'm really, really liking her right now. It's cold in the bitch outside. We're driving through Colorado in the wind. It's going super duper warm, but we're gonna get through it. Tomorrow, I'll start my drive. So I'm super excited, you guys. Three hours later. The next day. Kansas. This is all a part of a winter storm being called Jacob that is moving across the country this weekend. And ice is going to be a major threat. that travel size kit because I could just take this in the bathroom with my towel, my toothbrush, toothpaste, you know, wash my face and things like that. Man over there picking ice off his truck. And that's actually a prom truck. <laughs> he out there scraping ice off his truck. It's pretty real, y'all. But we go go ahead and get it today. Right now I'm at a Luz at the edge of Colorado and we're on our way to Kansas. It's getting real out here, but this is what I want to do. So let's get into it. So yesterday we were driving, yesterday my trainer was driving us out of Colorado. It was windy, the winds were super high and the winds were blowing the trailer so hard that my trainer was like, okay, we gotta pull over at a pilot. So we ended up pulling over at a pilot, y'all. Let me tell you, we woke up this morning and pretty much seen like a lot of ice. Uh, people were like picking ice off of their trucks. Definitely getting real out here, you guys. It's getting really real. Today your girl is gonna be in the driver's seat. I got my gloves. I did buy these gloves yesterday for about five dollars. I bought some gloves because today I'm gonna be doing all the work, which I'm very excited about. This is what I came here for. As you guys seen, I went to the bathroom. I washed my face. I brushed my teeth. Really weird because everybody was there looking at me, but I don't give a fuck because I gotta brush our teeth. <laughs> so who cares? Let's look. Look at that. Y'all see? I know y'all see that. Oh wait, can y'all see it? We'll let, we'll let y'all see. It. Yeah, I know y'all see that out there. Uh, I'm gonna be driving super safe. Next time you guys will really see me vlogging. It's probably when I stop on my 30 minute break. Seven hours later. Hey, we stopped. We're waiting, and they don't have empty here. So we're probably gonna get routed somewhere else to get pick up empty. We had to stop. See, I'm not sitting in the chair because my ass hurt. <laughs> I have a butt pad, but it hurts so much sitting down. So we're just in here waiting. We're gonna go pick up an empty. I told her we probably won't pick it up till in the morning. Oh, the empty? No, the load. Oh, the load. But all right, bye. Oh, 
let me go ahead and tell you about my day so right now we are actually in kansas today was such a crazy ass day this winter weather out here bro this winter weather out here ain't no bitch let me tell you that okay which one ain't no bitch if y'all do decide that y'all want to come out here and y'all train in the winter man all i gotta say is man just be absolutely careful because it's crazy out here i was driving i had ran into like actual ice on the ground well, i'm gonna say actual ice like you know but i ran into actual ice on the ground that ice was no bitch like the whole road was covered in ice you seen two trucks pulled over to the side and then we seen one truck that actually flipped over y'all the whole thing was flipped over the trailer was fucked up like it just was so it was like such a crazy moment for me to really be out here driving it really gave me respect for you know people out here that's driving in this weather man like it dead ass gave me real respect for people that's out here driving in this weather man. said i seen a whole truck that was actually flipped over on its side um so it's dangerous out here man just pretty much drove slow as possible as i possibly could and like i wasn't speeding and at the moments that i felt uncomfortable i just cut on my blinkers and i just drove slow because i was like yeah i'm not gonna be out here driving hella fast i'm sorry y'all i'm looking at these trucks well you can't see because the truck literally the truck right there i don't know if you've seen it but i'm watching these trucks go by because of where i'm parked i really just got a lot of respect for you know a lot of truck drivers out here man because it gets very dangerous out here don't think this winter training is, is nothing you know what i'm saying this winter training out here it will get you right i seen a lot of comments from my last video where people was like oh you don't need to be training in the winter you know well the winter ain't for rookies first of all did you come out the pussy knowing how to drive no you did not you know what i'm saying everybody had to be a rookie one this is for rookies you know what i'm saying this is rookie season this is for rookies and with that being said you know everybody cho chooses the time that they should train but winter being one of the hardest times one of the most dangerous times i heard for drivers i chose to come out here in the winter time because i I wanted to get out here and get this experience i'd rather be out here with somebody who's experienced to teach me how to drive in the winter versus me being a rookie out here in the winter by myself trying to learn how to drive some shit up and then i can fuck around and kill me kill other people on this road because this shit ain't for the week it's period it ain't for the week so shout out to all my winter drivers out there man especially all my winter truck drivers out there shout out to all y'all this is some dangerous work that we doing we putting our lives on the line you know what i'm saying so we can all get this bread you know don't come at me because i want to sit out here and train in the winter if i'm training in the winter this is the time that i'm chose to train i also know what comes with training in the winter I'm not just out here like oh yeah training in the winter like no i understand what comes with training with winter what understands what comes with this job i understand what comes when you're hauling forty thousand pounds down the freeway you know what i'm saying in the rain and snow and the ice towards new york is going up you know up in that area new jersey pretty much chasing after this storm and this storm is pretty much leaving rain it's leaving sleet ice and snow in its way but beyond that if y'all see me i drove out of colorado i drove about six hours out to kansas and when we got to kansas we made it to our shipper and we were sitting there and we were looking for a trailer of ours because it was a simple drop of hook i pretty much you know dropped the trailer or whatever and then you know drove off you know bobtail I bobtail which is a tractor without a trailer i bobtail to go look for a trailer from my company my company didn't have any trailers out there we had trailers out there but the trailers we had out there, the receiver that we went to they never had they didn't have any empties because they had our trailers but our trailers weren't empty they were still fully loaded and we were sitting there for a minute we were going to get sent to another yard to go pick up another trailer but the yard or the trailer that we were going to go pick up was two hours in the opposite direction only have four hours left on my clock so i could drive two hours out to pick up this trailer but we're not going to get where we need to go so i'm in hutchinson kansas right now and i still need to drive the liberal but my trailer is two hours back the opposite direction we took my load from colorado we drove to get hutchinson kansas we dropped off our load in hutchinson kansas then we were going to pick up an empty and keep moving but they never had an empty for us to keep moving so at this point we're literally sitting here our dispatch asked them could we bobtail to the nearest love so we can get some eating and stuff like that shower which i'm definitely gonna go do then we just called the place to see if they had unloaded any of our trailers and the man just told us they're not gonna have any of our trailers unloaded until the morning 
pretty much either going to have to sit here until the morning or our the company is going to probably send me two hours out to pick up this other trailer because i am working on my 14 hour clock which means after 14 hours is up i can't even operate this vehicle i can come to y'all later and let y'all know what's going on my train's gonna call the company and my trainer is going to see so right now where we are bobtail and we we're sitting So we ended up staying the night. So if you guys are ever in Hutchinson, Kansas, this is the love. This is what the bathroom looks like. The bathroom is pretty clean though, I ain't gonna lie. That's pretty much what we got going on. So far everything is going so really good. I really, really like my trainer. I don't have any complaints about her. Should have had a woman trainer to begin with. I really feel like in the beginning I should have had a woman trainer to begin with. Instead of having a male trainer because there are some things that a woman trainer can understand a little bit better than a male trainer. A male trainer can be really good as far as like the industry goes. But as far as like personal things, like a, a woman, a woman understanding, a woman can understand a little bit better. And she's been really understanding. You know, I already know how I am. I take showers every day or every day. Everything's been good with her. Like she's been really, really cool. We've been talking, you know, laughing. Um, things know each other, you know, her. Everything goes good. And then plus, I'm not really holding a lot of weight to this trend that I do have just for the simple fact that I'm only going to be on her truck for like a couple of weeks. It's not like I'm gonna be on her truck at prom for like four or five months. I have to live with this woman for half a year, you know, then it will be different. You know, I'll be evaluating her a little bit harder like I was evaluating my trainers at prom. With her, since I'm not gonna be with her for nothing, not even a whole month, it's completely different. Just like I said, just because it's the fact that I'm not gonna be with her for four or five months. I'm only gonna be with her for less than a month. So, you know, the clock is ticking to get her to get her own truck. Day two is down, so that is what it is. My turn is, she already had pre-planned home time. I'm going to be going home on home time on the 24th of this month. That's pretty cool. I'm ready to see all my family pick up some more stuff that I can bring back to the truck. Everything's going good. Right now we're at a love, so I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for rocking with your girl, rocking with your girl, rocking with your girl. We'll come to you guys and vlog as much as I possibly can. But you already know how it is when you're out here and you're training and you're trying to get your training on. I'm not going to be able to record as often as I would like to. If you guys so much for watching this channel, if you guys want more content like this, don't forget to like it and subscribe to your girl. See you in my next vlog, you guys. Bye. Look at y'all, it's a double shower. Oh, your girl's going to get clean, clean. Clean, clean.